You look, you look so shy. What's going on? <laughs> Is it because you've never seen a Ghanaian before? No, not really. Oh, no, not like, really. come on. I mean, let me give you a hug from Ghana. Maybe you'll be okay. <laughs> Take care of yourself, yeah? Okay. My name is Maya from Ghana. Tell me your name and where you're from. My name is Nancy Michael from South Sudan. What about you? I'm Helen Garciano from South Sudan. From South Sudan. Uh, my name is Margaret. From? Um, I'm from South Sudan. From South Sudan. My name is Nyager. I'm from South Sudan. Oh, wow. Your name is just beautiful, just like your country. Oh, come on. My name is Lucy, Lucy Biel from South Sudan. My name is Nyayo Deng from South Sudan. What about you? My name is Daisy Nyakan. I'm from South Sudan. Madonna from South Sudan. From South Sudan. It seems... <laughs> come on, tell me, what makes South Sudan this woman unique? Perseverance. We're very strong women, despite... We've gone through so much decades and decades of war, but our women have been holding the family strong, you know? They've been um, the backbones of the family, the breadwinners, they've been the women who are encouraging, they're the women who have seen their husbands, their sons, their grandsons have gone to war, and despite that, they've held it together. You know, many of us at some point have lost a male figure in the family, so it's been the women who have shaped the family by themselves despite it all. That's so beautiful. We're strong. Strong and beautiful. I think what it is, is we're such a diverse country. And so when you look at women, like as, a, as all women in South Sudan, what you'll see is that we're so diverse, yeah? So like me, uh, I'm actually don't, I don't represent what South Sudanese women look like. Oh. If like, you see another woman, she'll look completely different because in this region of Africa, we have like so many different, we've got Bantu speakers, we've got Nilotics, we've got Kushites. So I think that's the unique aspect that we find, that we find in the women here. For me, I'd say it's the resilience and the ability to bounce back. Even just watching my mom, you know, they've been through so much mm. years of civil war and all these things. And despite all that, despite that their husbands went away, they still kept the family together. Whoa. And I really look up to that and I hope that moving onwards, I'll be able to follow their same path. They're very strong women, personally. I think the charismatic uh, of a South Sudanese woman is immeasurable. Mm. Uh, that uh, to the extent that make us uh, unique, our culture, our culture and behavior. You know, South Sudanese women they, they love to what to love everyone, and they love they are not having like uh, this uh, the uh, divided. We, this is foreigner. This is what they just deal with anyone. Okay. Okay. And example like you see in the, this environment, we have different tribes, we have foreigners, we have, we are just like brothers and sisters. This is what actually make a South Sudan and this woman so unique. They are not differentiated between uh, other tribes and other tribes and, and, and uh, their own tribes. Okay. Um, I think it's all about their strength. As you all know, we've been through so much as a country. But our South Sudanese women have always stood up to be strong. They're the ones who build our homes. Culturally, there are some of them build their homes. They're the ones who do all the work. And personally, I believe it's just the strength. And that's what makes us beautiful. Do South Sudanese women date out of South Sudan? Yes, they do. Are you dating out of South Sudan right now? No, I'm home. You're home? Yeah. How, how, how is home? Can you tell us how, how home tastes like? Home Home is good. <laughs> Home is good. Home is good. Are you dating out of South Sudan right now? Ah, uh, no, I'm not. But uh, I have close friends that are dating people out of South Sudan. Out of South Sudan. Yeah. H have you ever tried before? Oh, uh, not really. I uh, haven't. Uh, are you willing to try? No, I don't think so. But I have friends from uh, oh, okay. foreign countries. Yeah. I myself am willing to try. You are willing to yes. try? Are you single? Yes. Oh, yes. Wow. Are you single right now? Right now, I'm single. So you're willing to try right now? Yes. Wh which country would you love to try? Oh, me, Ghana. Hey, that's my country. Huh? Hey, no, yes, uh, yeah, it's okay. Me. Nice to meet you. I, I'm from Ghana. You know, I, I rep really represent my country. I mean, my camera man is looking at me like, hey, I'm also from Ghana. No. Very much. Oh, very, very much. I, I, no. Very much. Let me know. Are you dating out of South Sudan right now? You know, funny thing is, me, I'm single. <laughs> single and searching. Searching, searching, searching. Searching for South Sudanese or outside South Sudan? Anywhere. 
Anyway, really. A anyway, anyway, really. Anyway, you know, we're African. We've got to, like, you know, we've got this whole Pan African agenda. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so how about let's diversify? Let's <laughs> keep it into the vision. <laughs> yeah, I want to just out to that. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. No, you said, yeah, definitely. Are you dating out of South Sudan right now? No, I'm not. You mean you're dating in here right yeah. now? Tell us something about your man. Oh, okay. Um, he's sweet, tall, dark, and handsome. Yeah, absolutely. South Sudanese women are actually very versatile. Very you know? Open. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, open, oh, oh, open to what? Open to what? What are you open to what? We're open to dating outside of just South Sudanese community, you know? Uh, it's, I, like African, it's a personal choice. Yeah, personal it, preference. Are you dating out of South Sudan right now? Currently, no. <laughs> but have you tried it before? But I have, I have. Oh, which I have, country? I've dated people from like other places. Like, Where? Um, Kenya, Lebanon, like um, Kenya, Ghana. California. Ghana? Yes. You tried Ghana? No, I haven't. I've tried Ghana got, actually. Got, ah, how was it? How was it? How was it? I'm from Ghana. How was it? How was it? It was, it was good. good. I mean, was, was it the best one ever? Well, not really, but he was a great guy. He how about you? You've tried, you've tried out of South Sudan before? Yeah, I have. Which country? <laughs> Ghana. <laughs> South Sudan. Of course. Of course. Are you dating out of South Sudan? No, currently. But have you tried it before? Yes, I have. How, ma how, how many countries so far? Two. Which country? Kenya and Nigeria. Whoa, tell me, how was the Nigerian experience? <laughs> the Nigerian experience, it was pretty nice. Pretty nice. I mean, and the Kenyan experience? It was nice, but it was more of what I know home. Nigeria are very, they're very bubbly people. Oh, they're okay. Life, they live large. I mean, do, do you love that life? Fun people? Uh -huh. They're amazing people. Who doesn't want to be around fun? Right? West Africans know how to have fun. Yay! Yeah, so, uh, at least Africans too. Okay. But my Nigerian experience was different, but it was awesome. It was awesome. Yeah. I mean, why should somebody out there marry a South Sudanese woman? A South Sudanese woman? Yeah. We are strong, like I said. We are kind hearted. We're hard workers. We got you. We cover you in every way, be it domestic work, be it out there trying to win the bread. We got you all the way. You don't have to like do it yourself. We have you all the way okay. from the get go. Sometimes they are attracted by the, the characters, by the behaviors, and by the South Sudanese women how uh, how they follow the tradition. Like uh, if she loves one man, she stick to that one man. Wow. Yes. And what about you? Why should somebody out there marry a South Sudanese woman? Yeah, most of uh, foreigners they love to marry South Sudanese women because of what? You know, our culture is so unique. We love to stick in one husband. We don't want to move from husband to husband. This is our culture, actually. For us, when you are moving from husband to husband, like even though you, me and you, we have problem. Example, I have problem with my husband. I cannot leave him because of that problem. Okay, I will find the solution of that problem. And this is the thing all over the world makes South Sudan is so unique because we are not jumping from man to man to man. If we get just to be but, but what, what we heard is that South Sudanese women love money. Is that true? No, it's no, not true. It's oh, not, not, I object. Oh, you, you object you don't love money? I object. But what if no, you get everybody got... everybody loves money, yes. <laughs> but we cannot do anything for money. Okay. Who doesn't love money? We all need to survive. <laughs> They all love money. So another thing, they are good at hustling. Oh, okay. Yes, they are. Yeah. In what way? What kind of hustling? Business-wise, and just trying to make a living for their families and for themselves. Who doesn't love money? But who doesn't love money? The money so who doesn't love money? money? But who doesn't love money though? I don't love money. You don't love money? Well, you know what? Money can sustain us, but I don't think money is everything in life. There is bigger things in life, just besides money. But I think, you know, just to live a comfortable life, that's why you would have money. But then I don't look at it like it's a... Um, for me, like money the main is priority. Necessary. Yeah. For you? Yeah. You need to have money. Money is everything. I think so. That's what I'm saying. Plus, because all the problems in this country and yes. everyone in this country is about money. Literally. That's the it's root money, is, everything else will be cured. Like it's the root of all our problems, but at the same time we can't do without it because like we need to sustain our lives, you yeah. know? And then just to be comfortable. It is. I, I met is, a woman who told me that the sister got married, I mean the dowry is like five hundred cows. Yeah, okay. 
So yeah, that happened and it does happen, but that's only with different cultures. You know, I told you earlier, like, you know, diversity. Like diversity, we've got like 64 tribes. So some tribes actually don't do that. So like, let's say my tribe, we actually don't even keep cows. Okay. So the concept of like, you're marrying a girl for cows is not something that we even have, but it's, it's what it is. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's true, but for some other tribes, you know, South Sudanese, there's some other tribes their drawing is too high and some others their drawing is too low but what is just we are concentrate on love you know sometimes you get there's some other tribes they are even married with with the with with goats whoa even five goats ten goats you know it's not all the tribes that is married with it's the not about all God, even others just marry with money whoa. some others get married yeah, with just get, money yeah, I, I, I want to say thank you so much for talking to me and I appreciate your time.